When I look at what a woman goes through over 40, you know, there's that loss of estrogen and the loss of progesterone. A woman doesn't have to lose testosterone, but she does often because of stress levels. So when I go and I look at those three hormones, they are precursors for four neurotransmitters, dopamine, serotonin, glutamate, and GABA. And when I look at what is what women over 40 are struggling with, it's anxiety, focus, depression. So what I've done is then gone in and looked at, well, what are the amino acids needed for those neurotransmitters to make sure we keep those neurotransmitters high as we lose those hormones? Naturally, we're supposed to lose them. So what aminos would I look for if I was trying to raise dopamine? I was trying to raise serotonin. I was trying to have less anxiety. Can we single out an amino like that? Or is it best just take the combination and your body will figure it out? What I would do is, is load perfect amino first because the mm. body then can use what it needs to make what it needs. So I usually do that first. Now, sometimes people need extra. So yeah. tryptophan is a precursor for, tryptophan is one of the essential amino acids. Right. So it, it's a precursor for melatonin, which is sleep, for NAD, which is the enzyme critical in order to make energy. So yeah. now you get someone who can't sleep, who's tired, and it's a precursor to serotonin, and then they're depressed, and they're deficient, and you look on their amino acid profile, and their tryptophan is like none. So you can use tryptophan or 5-hydroxytryptophan, which is a one step closer to, to the molecule that the body uses to, to build it with, as a, in itself, almost like a pharmacologic use of a nutrient to boost this up which is perfectly fine. Yeah. Um, that doesn't help make the rest of the body proteins. So I usually end up doing load the perfect amino, see where we get, we measure neurotransmitter levels, and then we go by what is low and what are the best combinations of precursors so that we can get these, these neurotransmitters back in line. So are there precursors to aminos or are the aminos the most basic unit? They're the basic unit. So aminos are the precursors to hormones and to, and to neurotransmitters. Uh, tryptophan, I mean, we think of tryptophan as turkey and it makes you sleepy. Uh, if I start taking tryptophan, on uh, throughout the day. Is that, a, is that a, an old myth that it's supposed to make you sleepy or is it upregulating GABA and it just calms everybody? Well, it upregulates serotonin. Tryptophan is a precursor ah. for serotonin. Okay. So sometimes we use tryptophan as a sleep aid. Yeah. Like take one to three grams of tryptophan before you go to bed and right. it, will, it will go toward serotonin. It will go toward melatonin and it can help with sleep. And okay. it's a, that's a reasonable thing to do. Um, GABA, you can get Get, and you can take it sublingually. GABA is a precursor or GABA is the sort of anti-anxiety one. So people are very anxious. You can get GABA, open up the capsule, put it underneath their tongue. Usually within 15 minutes, you'll see a response if it's going to work in that person. You know, phenylalanine is, is, a, is another amino acid, which is which gets turned into tyrosine. Now, tyrosine is a precursor to thyroid hormone. And a lot of people who have low thyroids, they have a, they have a tyrosine deficiency. They have an amino acid deficiency or an iodine yeah. deficiency. So these things go into many areas. And yeah. usually if you just like, okay, we're going to take, you know, 10, 20 or 30 grams a day of perfect amino, the body is just going to start directing this stuff to where it needs to go. And then everything will come up. I had a, yeah. I had somebody, um, I just, I saw her today too. When I saw her, she, her blood test indicated and her symptoms indicated that she was hypothyroid. Mm -hmm. And I put her on some desiccated thyroid. So this is glandular thyroid that's ground up. Okay. And she immediately felt better. Now, when we got her panel back, she was very tyrosine deficient and she was very iodine deficient. And because I was giving her perfect amino, you can make tyrosine out of the, the essential amino acids, which is phenylalanine. And I gave her some iodine out the box because iodine is deficient in many people. She was on the thyroid for a couple of months. And then she, she said, you know, I'm starting to feel kind of agitated, like, like yeah. I got too much thyroid. And I weaned her down off the thyroid because now her body was making thyroid because it had tyrosine and had iodine. It could make it and it had zinc and it had selenium and it had these things where it could actually, you could, the body now became functional when prior to that it wasn't because it didn't have the raw materials to do it.